Hello everyone, sorry for being procrastinator as I was really busy for the past few months. Finally, I managed to handle most of them and now should be back on track. In this video, I will be sharing the general list of my stock picks for investment in year 2022 and how I screened them out. Please remember to watch this video until the end if you want to receive my list. My investing term is 3-4 to four years, at least for this period of break height cycle which normally will last for a few years. My stock picks of year 2022 has to fulfill the following criteria. Criteria 1. Macroeconomic trend. The current macroeconomic trend is rate hiking. We will anticipate Feds will increase the rate consistently this year. The only uncertainty is how many rate hikes will occur this year. The direct impact on rate hike is the money will be discounted and hence it will be more difficult to support high PE of a stock. Thus, my stock speed must have a net positive earning. I will avoid all the speculative or growth stock with negative earnings. In addition, the stocks should have a relative law of fair valuation compared to their fundamental. I will be using discounted cash flow to evaluate the intrinsic value of the company. I will only choose the company near or below the intrinsic value. Criteria 2. Strong fundamental. Next, the company that I would like to invest must show a consistent growth of revenue net earnings and operating cash flow for at least last 5 to 10 years. For example, Microsoft is showing a clear uptrend on its revenue, net earnings and operating cash flow for the last 10 years. Next, the company must have a healthy debt profile without over leveraging. My minimum criteria are the current ratio must be more than 1 and debt to equity ratio has to be smaller than 1. I won't go into details on the terms and definitions, but in general, from Investopedia, the current ratio is a liquidity ratio that measures a company's ability to pay short-term obligations or those due between one year. We need a company with a current ratio of more than one to ensure it has enough liquidity to operate. Debt to equity ratio is measuring how the ratio of the company to use creditor financing such as bank loan compared to financing raised from the shareholders. We need a company with lower debt to equity ratio as it signifies a reduced default risk. Taken together, I want to invest a company that can generate more money consistently while with very low risk of being default. Criteria 3 good annual average return and earning bid history. This part is not really crucial as these two parameters are purely based on history and there are no way they can reflect the future performance. However, this can be used as a good gauge on our stock speed. Using Microsoft as an example again, for the past 29 quarters, it only missed one earning in year 2016. In addition, the EPS trend is also slipping out towards the latter quarter. This is expected as we already selected the stock which can consistently make more revenue and net profit. This parameter is generally showing that the company managed to increase its EPS estimates and beat it consistently. This is the annual return of the Microsoft at the last column for the past 10 years. The average annual return is 30.25%. This return is far above most of the investment instruments available in the market. In addition, we know that Microsoft is a good company supported by the good fundamental. Criteria 4 is mode and competitors. We need to choose a company with a strong mode to invest in. A company with a strong mode does not need to involve in price war that will affect their earning. If you invest in company doing telecommunication before, for example, Singtel, he has already lost its mode as there are other companies like Starhub, Circle Life, M1, TPG Mobile, and more and more. These companies have to slash their price to compete with each other. 
If you are not happy with a telco, we can switch it easily. Using another example, if Microsoft raises its price, while your company changes all the operation platform to other companies, both of them won't, as the switching cost is too huge as they need to reinstall and relearn everything. While economy mode cannot be measured directly, however, gross income margin can be used as a general guide to estimate the company's economy mode. High gross margin signifies a company managed to sell its product or services at a premium price after deducting its cost. I will prepare another video when talk about the economy mode. Using Microsoft as an example, the gross income margin of Microsoft is as high as 68.93%. The Microsoft gross profit margin is also very consistent, signifies Microsoft is still maintaining its strong mode. Last but not least, the next criteria is future growth driver. Even a company with a strong mood, but if a new technology arises, it can obsolete the current business model. For example, Nokia was once a very good company with a strong mood, but now we know what happened to Nokia after smartphone is invented. For the future driver, it is very subjective and required more research works. For instance, one of the future drivers that I am looking at is the company involved in Metaverse. Similar to the vote, I will prepare separate videos to discuss the future driver for the stocks. Summary My stock piece of the year 2022 needs to pass the following criteria. Follow the macroeconomic trend. The stock price is below or at the fair valuation. Consistent growth of revenue, net earning and operating cash flow. Healthy debt profile. Healthy earning beat history. Good annual average return. Strong mode. Good future driver. Here is the list for my stock pick of the year 2022. The filter is based on the fundamental with a consistent growth of earning capability and healthy debt profile. The other parameters, such as intrinsic value, earning beat history, and annual average return, are also included. For the mode and future driver, I will discuss separately for the stock. The stocks are also coming from the different sectors. We can also form a diversified portfolio based on the list. I shall monitor how this stock's doing this year and the rest of the red high years. The list is available to be downloaded in my Telegram group. Feel free to join my Telegram group for free and mingle with other investors. My channel will be more focusing on these stocks such as Mood, their future drivers, how to form a diversified portfolio based on the picks. Please subscribe my channel and turn on the notification bell to get the latest update if you would want to learn or know more about investing for the long term. Tell me what is your stock pick of year 2022. Comment below and we shall discuss together. Thank you and see you in the next video.